Hello, welcome to Animal Watch and today we're meeting Athletic Bullies. Animal Watch has previously covered the American Bully, both the pocket size right up to the giant XL. He's a recently controversial breed, always in the news. But perhaps he's not being worked enough and trained in a way to take away his anxiety. Perhaps what this dog needs is a physical output in order to tap into the breed's needs that make up his mix. Perhaps exercise and mental stimulation would help him be happier and less likely to get into trouble. Today, Animal Watch will tell you why bad ownership, lack of training and breeding from bad genes is creating dogs that will keep on appearing in the news. In order to do this, we are meeting the super athletes of the American bully world, the elite racehorse version of this often stocky and unworked breed. Meet the sporting American bully. The American Bully, created as a pet, a companion dog, a gentle dog, to be in the house and around kids and other pets. Developed in the 1980s from the following breeds, the American Pitbull Terrier, the American Bulldog, the English Bulldog, and the recreated Old English Bulldog. Puppies were selected that had far less drive than the American Pitbull Terrier, and which had a stockier, heavier boned appearance. The American Bully is a highly trainable breed and many dogs, despite acting as lap dogs in the home, do well in sports such as weight pull and flirt pole, thus proving their thirst for stimulation. Human aggression is severely discouraged in the breed standard. However, a level of dog aggression is characteristic of the breed due to the dogs they originate from. Responsible bully breeders have acknowledged that the American bully can be potentially dangerous if improperly raised or bred. There have been several supposed attacks in the United Kingdom to which the American bully has been held accountable, with victims ranging in ages from 17 months to 62 years old. Now, this simply cannot go on, or it will be a very murky future for this breed. So today, I am playing devil's advocate, as I'm going to be suggesting that this companion dog, aka lap dog, should not be kept as such. Today, I'm going to be suggesting that this dog needs to be worked to remove anxiety, as he comes from a line of dog breeds that needs stimulation and exercise to be happy. I also believe that there is a lot of back garden breeding going on, creating dogs with poor temperaments, bred from bad genetics, simply to make a quick, fast buck. This in conjunction with lazy owners, who then leave these dogs unwalked and untrained, sometimes alone with small kids and babies. You could say that these people are in fact responsible for the attacks. So today I am meeting trainers who believe that working this breed helps to control its urges. Plus they have the power to tell the dog to stop biting on command. Now that's a huge part of training any dog breed, something that owners really don't think to do. Today, I'm near Manchester at RC Kennels, and I'm about to witness some very fit and highly trained XL bullies from various guests who have come to see us today. Nathan Jones of RC Kennels, Liam Booker of Empire Bullies, Ruben Lima, Bully Elite, Jay Crean of Total Dog Trading, and of course, Joshua, with his exquisite photos from Define Photography. Not only are the dogs healthy and happy, but they are trained to stop biting when asked. Viewers may argue that dogs shouldn't be encouraged to bite, 
But if they are going to do it anyway, isn't it better to train them to stop, as well as train the anxiety out of them, so they are less likely to take it out on someone's dog or child? Hello! Hi, Hi. Hi Annika! Hi. Welcome to Total Dog Training. Hello! It's fantastic. Well, the weather's a bit rubbish today, Love but it. I can't wait. You've got an amazing day waiting for me, yeah, haven't you? Yeah, we've got plenty of dogs ready for you here today, yeah. Athletic Ath XL Bullies. That's it. I can't wait. I mean, I've seen them in the home, but now you've got them doing sporting yeah. for us today yeah, on Animal Yeah, we've got Watch. plenty of stuff on here for, for you to see us doing. We've got the A-frame, the slap mill, the spring pole, and plenty of other things for you to yes. look at today. Yeah. yeah, it's wonderful. And they're, they're real specimens, these ones. Look yeah. at them. Yeah, he is. So this is, fit looking. Let's see, this one's Yondu. This is owned by RC Kennels, this dog. What a head on him. It's chucking it down today, but that doesn't bother the dogs who are thrilled to be here. They are slim, well-muscled and healthy. You can tell they are getting their best life. For a lot of people, these dogs are really strong. So if it's raining or if, if you've got a partner or something that isn't able to walk them, they can put them on this and then they can work the dog on these without pulling their arms off around the street and stuff. Or if you've had a busy day at work or whatever and you ain't got time to walk them or you've got a few dogs, you can chuck them on here and they get more exercise yeah. on this. As you can see... And they Yondu's, enjoy it, right? Yeah, and yeah. as you can see, Yondu's trying to go on it again now, but it won't move until he moves his All foot. All right, let's see. Let's see what you can do then. This. So this is a spring pole and we use this for full body workouts and grip work to make sure that the bike stays strong and it also gives them a full workout in one exercise ah. and we're going to put Bane on it and show you how Bane does it today. It's absolutely mad. Okay, so what are we about to see now? So we're about to see Smith do a long send across the blue canisters and there's going to be two fireworks either side of the orange barriers coming up that he's got to go through the middle of. He's going to go through the middle of fireworks. He's going to go through. Wow. We're about to see the flirt pole here, which is usually used with a horse lunge whip. You don't whip the dog at all, but you use it around a bit like you would with a cat. And um, it's used for just, again, a full body workout, a quick way to burn the dogs out. So now we're going to see us doing the sleeve, so this can be used in sport or protection training. So what are we about to see now? So now you've seen the sleeve, we're going to show you the leg bites on the suit now. So okay. usually you start off on the arms on the suit, and then you progress onto the legs. So what have we got here? <laughs> so we've got a canister wall now and we're going to see Smith come through this and crash it down. It's just an environmental test. It's a bit harder than the previous test you've seen and it just gives the dog a bit more to think about when it's coming through. So what are we going to do now? 
So now behind you, we've got a fake wall. So we're going to bring the dog through here and do a surprise attack. You're going to see this dog run up and down this A-frame. So it's like a, a real fitness test. That's it. So in, say, a minute, five minutes, two minutes, usually a minute, we'll see how many times this dog can go back and forth over this. of how physical these dogs like to get, I was keen to talk about if this breed is dangerous or not and why RC Kennels and Liam Booker believe that exercise and good breeding is the key. I'm here with Liam and we have experienced some amazing athleticism with the XL Bullies today. Yeah. And who have we got here? We've got Ida here from Empire Bullies. And she's beautiful. I mean, her eyes. Yeah, yeah. Look, piercing, look, yellow. She she's so cuddly and lovely, isn't yeah, she? Yeah, she's really friendly. But like I said, when they're in work, that's completely different to when they're out of it. Um, but out of drive, she's good with dogs, cats, people, kids, everything. Yeah, and I, what I think is really important is if you have a dog that has a strong prey drive, yeah. is to be able to train them to the point that you can control them, so you can turn yeah. it on and off. In my opinion, I, I feel I can trust this dog a lot more than I could a dog that I've not trained because I know her trigger points, I know when she's <laughs> happy, like now I know she just wants your food. Yes. And, and I can read my dog a lot better than <laughs> I could a, a dog that I'd never done much with. Yeah. This dog, she comes everywhere with us, take her to work, take her out with friends, family, everything and she's always with us and she's always good. Now on Animal Watch, we filmed the XL Bully before yeah, in a yeah. home environment. Today we're looking at what they are like as athletes. So these ones are really, really athletic looking. They're really muscular, they're really yeah. tapered. Do you train them to look like this or are they bred from specific lines that are more athletic? It is part of the breeding and part of the genetics. They're not naturally like this, but they're naturally musclier than the other ones and they're naturally a bit fitter but you put a bit of work into these and they just it's a completely different level well what people are going to be asking today is is what's the point of training all these dogs to do this some people just enjoy the sport side of it the lean looking dog they enjoy the fun side and, and all that sort of stuff early days but we've just started competing personally i do the personal protection side as well but it's important for me to have the control so i know this dog's a good guardian and does a job but on the same token she's an amazing pet if they if they're training them for protection what sort of people do they go to then so we go to professional dog trainers they're qualified we pay for that service grounds like this proper professional places everything's under control the dogs are on chains not on leads because they mm. could chew through the lead yeah there's no risk or anything yeah. happening it's all safe unfortunately we've been hearing a couple of like dog attacks haven't we in the yeah. newspaper yeah. what do you think has gone wrong in these situations I think it's people that buy these dogs and they don't they don't know what they're capable of they don't know how to stimulate them it's like i've got dutch herder as well you could buy 10 dutch herders and lock them in a kennel and just breed them you lock 10 of them in a kennel and they're gonna all go crazy and bite people and stuff like that and it's exactly the same with these they're eye driven dogs they need stimulating they need exercise and if you're not willing to do that it brings these risks or people will lock them out or even if they look after them but they're just on the sofa all day eating biscuits that dog wants to be out running yeah. and stuff. And if you've got no basics into that dog in obedience or just being a polite dog in general, how can you expect it to be around kids pulling its ears and, and yeah. tormenting it? And yeah. as I say, some dogs aren't wired up right. That's just the same with every breed. Yeah, that's genetics also yeah. as well. So yeah. I think a lot of it is people, you know, trying to make money off, um, well, yeah. off dog breeds. They just breed from anything yeah. because the true XL bullies are really sweet, lovely yeah. dogs. Well, as you can see, she's Come a on. fully trained protection dog, but she's <laughs> social because we're in a calm environment. There's been no commands given. There's different ways of exposing the dog, whether it's environmentally, so it's a lot of noise and stuff like that where the dog could get spooked, which I also think is positive because you walk down the field and you hear kids screaming, some dogs will react from that. Yeah. Whereas we train all these noises and all stuff like that, so the dog isn't scared. 
So the trigger points aren't as high, yeah. in, in my opinion. So if somebody was getting an XL bully, one of the most important things you would say is get them straight down socialization and training classes. Even yeah. if they don't want to make them into athletes, Definitely. you've got to train that on off control and also the yeah. resilience, as you're saying, to screaming, prey drive. Yeah, open it up to different noises, make sure that it's been in all them positions. Personally, I haven't got kids, but it's still been around children and seen different trigger points, stuff that could set the dog off. And I think if somebody's going to get one of these, just get some basics in, basic lead manners, stop and pull in, the big strong dogs. Yeah. And, it, and it looks good to the public if the dog's not pulling you all over, it looks it looks good. What do you say to people when they just buy bite sleeves online and they try and do this in their back garden? So, unfortunately, <laughs> they do and, and that's when the accident, do you want that's when the accidents happen because they don't know how to catch the dogs, they don't know how to read the dogs. Something awful that's happens because they've trained it all the yeah, wrong way. You, you've opened that dog up and showed it that's then that avenue you of work to then not keep it controlled you're asking for problems yeah. with any breed how heavy is she and how big is I, she at the minute i does not condition because she's only just recently had pups so she's usually a lot better than that she's about 30 kilos she varies from 30 to 33 and the males go up to what weight yeah. it all depends on the size because she's like 22 inches to the shoulder but my other male he's about 32 33 very similar build but some of them are like 40. <laughs> And I think anything above 40, then you're talking Six. the bigger the bigger type, not the athletic type. So actually, people can have a lot larger XL bullies, but yeah. for proper working ability, they need to be a little In bit In my shorter. opinion, just for the joints. She keeps making noises will, for me to you give you now. treats. She's your best friend now. Do you want a treat? Do you want a treat? You can sit. Be nice. Good girl. Now, as the weather had been so awful, we caught up with RC Kennels a few weeks later at a different venue, Lavarando Kennels. Here we got to meet some different bullies, Chulo and Ocean, belonging to money from the Dog Pound Gang. And watch some more sports, this time sporting in the sun. Thank goodness. Conclusion, I'll never get a good response when I cover these breeds. People are either 100% for it or 100% against it. So all I say is, in order to control a dog, you need to understand it. Its needs, its genetics, and its history. Any owner who buys a bully from a back garden breeder who doesn't screen his dogs is putting his family in danger this breed was not designed to be aggressive. It's the poor breeding and lazy ownership which is hurting its reputation. How do we stop this? There's no point banning breeds, as attacks will come from elsewhere. You need to clamp down on owners, breeders and licensed people. Sporting with dogs is an excellent way to bond with them, get rid of excess energy and train them to do exactly what you say. To buy a dog, not train it, not bond with it, and then leave it alone with small children is utterly irresponsible. If you create that monster, you need to take responsibility. Hopefully this breed has a brighter future. If we all work hard together to make it so.
If we want to Did find out more about the dogs that we have seen today, yeah. um, what websites and Instagram accounts should we be going on roughly? So my Instagram account is Empire Bullies. Yondu the Black Dog, that's RC Kennels. Well, I'll tell you what, I'll write all of their accounts underneath yeah. on the screen and then you can go and look into it if you're interested in um, finding out more about working bullies, yeah, yeah, yeah. about athletic bullies. And if you enjoyed this episode on Athletic XL Bullies, then please give me a big thumbs up and subscribe to this channel by clicking the button in the bottom hand corner. And be sure to tune in every week where we're bringing you more amazing episodes on dogs, wolves, animal rescue and conservation. Bye for now. <laughs> She's after the treats!